evening, everybody, and welcome to the Brookfield Selectman's meeting for Tuesday, September 6th. I ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you, gentlemen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. I will entertain a motion to approve the payroll warrant for 830 and the expense warrant for 831. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to acknowledge the fire department report for August 2016 and EMS for August 2016. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Announcements. Volunteers are desperately needed to serve on several town committees, including the Advisory Committee, Local Public Access Committee, Conservation Committee. A letter of interest should be submitted to the Board of Selectmen, 6 Central Street, Brookfield, Mass., 01506. Email selectmen at brookfieldma.us or simply pick up the phone and call 508-867-2931. 2931. 2931, extension 10, and ask for our lovely Karen. It's 2930. 2930. 2930. That's what I said. <laughs> Any further announcements? Hearing none, anybody wish to address mm -hmm. the board this evening? Would you like to address the board this evening? Yes. yes. We got a character. Welcome, sir. He's done, he's done it before. If he didn't do it, then we'd think something was wrong. So if you guys want to give the townspeople an update on what took place down at the uh, bridge dedication, Joe Murray's bench. Are you what? talking about the signs? Yeah, and the no parking signs and... Well, that's, that's not the bridge or the dedication of the bench, it's the... The it's access road the between access road. the bridge and was, yeah, next to the it's been bench dedication. It was, it was, the access road. It was painted over, there are yes. no more no parking signs, and I believe the tickets that were issued were reversed. Parking tickets. Yeah. But is there a but? Well, it's a process. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So just so we are all clear, um, in further research, um, that the no parking signs and access was actually on CXX property, not the Blake property. Just so we're all clear. Oh. And I have a drawing to that effect too, Mr. Holcraft, if you'd like to see it. Keep your drawings. And keep your pictures. I Keep just, your full just, chats. Just, just so that you're okay. all, all, right, all so clear. That, that's the update. Anything else? So, but but my point is, it's still private property down there. It's the XX part, right? Property. And it also goes down to that other landowner, Mr. Blake. And we know where right. Mr. Blake's property is as well. Okay, so people can go down there and pack to the sides as long as they're not blocking the road and, and hang out and sit on the bench if they're walking or if they're in a the vehicle. Correct. As they have. Yep. Mr. Chairman, as I left the other day from the church and drove by, there were two cars parked exactly there, and this no parking sign was still there. So anyway. Right. Painted over now. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's all painted. Okay. All right. Very good. We had a good yeah. resolution. Thank you. Is that it? Hi, Molly. Shoot. Anybody Molly else wish to address the board this evening? Hearing none. Yeah. Item number one. Uh, police chief. Mr. Blanchard is requesting the acquisition of a new cruiser. Uh, he has gone through all procurement process and is requesting the Board of Selectmen's approval for the acquisition of said cruiser. $39,023.25. It's a little higher than the original bid that I had for the advisory board because that was back in January. But the reason why it's a little higher is because for that one, I didn't, I didn't, that didn't have a new radio included in it, which we have to upgrade that radio because of what's going on. That came with the purchase? Yeah, instead of taking it out, as I told Dave, that I wasn't going to take it out of the money that I asked for on the warrant article, this was going to be taken out of the cruiser. So, so this yeah. is the new cruiser for you? Correct. Any questions for the chief? I'll entertain the motion to approve the purchase of said cruiser for said price. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Item number two, Ms. Burbank has a concern. <laughs> Just in time, welcome, ma'am. I honestly, uh, I'm not even sure where to begin because 
I know that you're all aware of the fact that we have <coughs> ongoing issues on both sides of the landfill. And I know that your board directly can't resolve the issue. However, what really concerns me is how these things keep happening in town. That we don't seem to have the bylaws in place. Um, and I, I know in the 80s, I believe there was a non-binding referendum passed to outlaw, to, to make a bylaw to outlaw the um, racetracks, and that never happened. Yep, that was back in 1986. Yeah, I knew it was somewhere around there. And it's just, it just seems to me like this thing that keep getting talked about, like we should make a bylaw for this, or we should make a bylaw to prohibit that, and, it, and they don't happen. And, you know, another situation for me is I, because of my concern about what's going on on my side of the landfill, all the dirt I can hear being dumped there, and everything I can hear getting moved around, and the trees getting bulldozed over, I went down about a month ago, I would say, and took pictures because I thought it would be helpful to somebody somewhere along the line to document what he's doing. Are we talking about the racetrack? No. No. Oh, talking Mr. About the property. And then that was on a Sunday. The following Friday, I went down to take more pictures to get a progression because mm -hmm. things were going on all week. And that night, police show up at my door because he filed a complaint against me. And my understanding is he wanted me to be arrested and put in handcuffs. That did not happen. However, that was my, I heard that that was his request. And I, I was so frustrated to think that he can keep doing what he wants to do and it takes forever to seem to be able to stop him and other people. Yet, I take pictures on two days and I, have a policeman at my door doing an investigation. And then last week, he showed up in the assessor's office asking me for my address, telling me he was going to send me a present. I'm assuming it's some kind of a suit, a lawsuit, but I don't know for sure. I haven't received anything yet. What? Did you want the chief to address that now or later? He, he, I'm he not complaining particularly about the police. Well, no, he raised his hand, so, so he, he might. My knowledge is not a lawsuit. As we discussed on the phone, it's a no trespasses issue. And, and that's the reason why we were called. He doesn't want anyone on the property that doesn't belong to the property. Right. So we didn't put anyone in handcuffs or anything like that. Yeah, I and I told you that he was most likely going to seek a no trespass order against you. And apparently that's what he's doing if he came up here to tell you about that. It's not a, to my knowledge, it's not a lawsuit, but. It, and I, it may be what you're saying. It may be something else. I really don't know. But as I told you and the police officer who was there, and I should be able to get proof through my pictures, I never left my vehicle, which was on the road. Um, anyway, what really concerns me is the history of things that keeps happening over and over again. That we seem to, I don't know, we seem to not be doing what we need to be doing to protecting ourselves from things like this. And I think, we have the ability, I'm guessing. I mean, I don't think we have to be a doormat for everybody who wants to do what they want to do. I hear rumors from other towns that if you want to do what you want to do, go to Brookfield. Buy a piece of land in Brookfield. They don't stop you. It takes them forever to stop you, whatever the case may be. I'm not kidding you when I say that. Um, and I, I'm really wondering if it's time for us to be paying people to do some of the jobs that we keep asking volunteers to do or people with stipends, whatever the case may be. I mean, the problems are getting bigger. The laws are getting tougher to enforce. Um, the people who want to do what they want to do seem to be getting more creative and, and defiant. Um, and I don't know if we need to start Paying, paying. I know. I know. Everybody in town is concerned about money, but are we being, you know, pound wise and dollar foolish? I don't know what the answers are, but this town. I, I just. I'm concerned. So, so when you brought this issue up a couple of weeks ago or last week, time just flies. I had asked Karen to, con for have you to have you contact a couple of people. Have you contacted those individuals? I contacted the conservation commission. 
That's and, we, and we have laws on the books, not only within bylaws in regards to that, but state laws, federal laws that they have to follow. So it's not about the laws, it's about the enforcement. In this instance, I guess it's about the enforcement, yes. So they're not able to enforce anything? Well, they called the DEP. Yeah, the DEP sure. came out, yeah. took pictures, wrote some stuff. I, I don't know why. I guess we're waiting for a report. In the meantime, he's dumping more dirt that's coming from who knows where. I don't know if it's... So we, we have our state representative that represents 11 towns, one being Brookfield. Can you reach out to him after this meeting and see if you can follow up with the DEP? Because now we're getting to state entities, and that's kind of what he's here for. You know Donnie, right? Birthday. The smiling yeah. face. Oh. Right. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I agree with, with uh, Marlene. I mean, I live down in that neighborhood also. And it seems, you know, I Sharon had um, emailed me the whole history on him, and I've read through it. Every permit he's had, everything is it's expired. And then he even went in, one time I read, I think he even went into housing court with this. And everything's expired, but it just seems he goes down there and he does what he wants to do. And Marlene, well, just being that, a concerned citizen, goes yeah. down and takes a picture, and the next thing you know, he's got the, car, the police on that's, that's his. That's his personality. That's his mentality. He's doing something wrong. Getting DEP is a yeah. step even above the conservation. I'm very happy to see that. So we do mm -hmm. pay people through our taxes to enforce and to help us. And if you work with Mr. Berthium, I'm sure you get the DEP involved, they're, they're going to take action. In regards to the racetrack itself, you know exactly what's going on over there. Unfortunately, there's a grandfather issue, and that's what's being contested. Yeah. I, I know, but my concern is we know there's a grandfather issue. Are we going to wait until there's another issue that we still don't well, have the, the law the, for? The, yeah. the town is arguing that there is not a grandfather issue, that it was, it, it's done. I, I'm sorry, I misspoke. My, my concern is that we don't have a bylaw still. And are we going to wait until somebody else is trying to do something like that so we have no bylaw to stop it and no grandfathering to prevent so it? So I'm, I'm smiling because we have so many people in this room, two people on the planning board that can deal with that, our state representative that can deal on the other end. So it, it, it's a good conversation in this room this mm -hmm. evening. I'm not sure how the planning board deals with the bylaw. They would have to bring that to the town. They'd have the discussion, work it through, and it'd have to be approved at a town meeting. Okay, so the planning board would write up the bylaws, is that what you're saying? I don't know if they're going to write them up themselves, but they would have input on it. And that's the people that you want to talk to first, in my opinion, because they have the working knowledge of it. So we had a discussion at an earlier meeting that talked about sign-offs and folks coming to town and sign-offs. The last bit of correspondence on that topic was that the build, uh, Jeff suggested certain legalities that we have to follow. So on a, on a sign-off of things, there's certain light legalities that starts with him. The only thing that I saw being legal, the only challenging issue there, is if Jeff would approve it or not. It, it doesn't yeah. bind him for issuing the permit. And, and I'm, knowing Jeff, there's no doubt in my mind that he would work with the town to have that checklist to make his job easier so it doesn't come back on him. But ultimately, if he wants to issue that permit, that's his choice. Right, but the concern that Jeff r raised in that feedback was the idea of the town clerk issuing a, li a license mm -hmm. and that there could be some confusion mm -hmm. when... And that's what we wanted to try to resolve. Yeah, we want to resolve that. And we're looking to... And the, the last I left it, as I understood, was that that was a, a suggestion that was made, I guess, to us as to uh, direction to the town clerk as, as to how to explain when, you, when you're looking for a business license mm -hmm. that, that that does not give you permission yeah. to do certain things. But that's at his discretion as well. He's, he's an but, elected official. But all it is, like when I was town clerk, like I, try, I explained to you, all it does is it registers your business here in the community. And I would always direct them to go see the zoning enforcement officer. Yep. And he would always, I would call him, I would give them his number, and he had a copy of what they were supposed to do. And I said, you can't, I said, you, you shouldn't be doing anything until you talk to him. And it, it gives the assessors a heads up that they can yeah. legally tax their equipment. Right. Yeah, whatever it is, yeah. But that's where we, we left it, as, as far as that. To answer your other, uh, the rest of your question, I did not talk to Nick Tomo because I was told that he went down and talked yeah. to him and was told 
if you don't like what I'm doing, take me to court. Yeah, Nick, I had talked to Nick also, and that's what he told Nick. He said, so, you'll mean, have to take me to court to stop what I'm doing. Right. Which I think we always knew would be the outcome. Yeah. That's Eau Claire. Eau Claire. Eau Claire. So That's where, what he where, told where, where we are with Eau Claire is we're waiting for feedback from. Uh, I, I, I think if we have a, a state representative and if Donnie feels comfortable bringing in into it, breathing down DEP's neck, something will happen very quickly. Are we going to be able to make him remove the dirt from there? I can't say what we're going to be able can. to. Because what's going on, I mean, in like in the original plan, Marlene has a copy of it, and it shows if he was going to do any filling, he had to have like, the, I get the black there's, paper. There's always, the, there's always order of conditions. He has to have yeah, the number posted. He has to follow it to the letter. And well, not, all of that, I think, is all expired. But, I mean, he was, originally, I think he was supposed to have, you know, all your hay bales around, nothing's there. So what can stop? So, Say if we had a heavy rain or something, yeah. what's going to stop this, all of that water? If this hurricane had turned into something, well, that, that would be all in his disaster. orders of conditions, and that those are all finable offenses. Yeah. Well, it's all on the order of what? conditions which have expired. Yeah, it's a, oh, everything's expired. See, I, I'm, I'm not the most optimistic person in the world, but when I hear DEP is getting involved, mm -hmm. there's no doubt in my mind that they'll follow through with it. Well, we hope so. <laughs> Dave, um, just a flip side of this. He's he's gone every. You know, Marlene says you just come to town and do what you want. But I know this gentleman, and I'm not saying what he's doing now, or if his permits have expired, but this town has put this gentleman through the hoops to get his permits, to do a lot of things. I don't know where they all ended up, but I know he's gone through a lot through this town. I don't know where it ended up, but I know he was trying to do the right thing. So he where does his permits stand now, I do not know, but I know they're all came, They're all came, expired, came, dude. Okay, so he did come to the, he came to all the boards and he, he worked what he had to do, what he was trying to do was right. So we're, we're kind of crossing the line of talking about him without being here yeah. that I'm getting uncomfortable about. So. Okay. That's why I didn't mention his name until somebody yeah. else. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The, um, I mean, that's, I, I'm really concerned. I mean, I don't, I don't want to beat a dead horse and I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. However, I just think we really need to become more proactive you know, instead of waiting for somebody to do something. And then we go, oh. You know, no, I agree. we should have done 100%. something before, or we could have done something and we didn't, or whatever. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Item number three, we're going to pass over for the simple fact that we do not have an official resignation from our veterans director, so we can't appoint something that's already. I thought he did. Not he to be confused, that was the veterans agent. agent. To find out after talking to Gary Lapine and talking to Sandy, I guess. Mr. Griffin held two appointments, mm -hmm. a veterans agent and a veterans director. So we needed him to We need him to resign. resign. From both of them. Oh, okay. Both. All right. Just a technicality. Mm -hmm. Item number four, setting the special town meeting. Um, spoke with the assistant assessor. He's comfortable with doing it towards the end of November. What were the dates again, Karen? 11th, 18th? He said on the 3rd or 4th of November. I'm not comfortable with the 4th because we get into Thanksgiving. Okay. In November? In November. Um, twofold to set the tax rate, which would clean up any departments so we know what we're And then we have to, have to think of what, what is the... Um, well, obviously we get articles as well. I'm trying to think, too. The election is the 8th. All right. Mm -hmm. Third week would be the week after election. So would you want, what day do you want to do it on? See, that's where I'm driving around thinking as well. Do we want to pull the trigger and trying to have a different day? Or yeah, why not? Because they've never been successful. Do we mm -hmm. want to try a Saturday? Sat I, I like the idea of Saturday because of the hard work experience. But at the same time, if I was a parent, which I happen to be, I really don't want to be coming to a town meeting when I have my kids home from school. And the kids are involved in soccer season, so you're not going to have all the but parents. But those, those excuses, it's, it's a snowball that just keeps getting bigger because if you do have the kids, you're doing something with them any night of the week, yeah. let alone the weekend. Why don't we try a, um, a Tuesday evening? Clarence? I'm, I'm game. Either the Tuesday or the Friday. Set it for the 15th? Mm, that could so work. we we don't have selections meetings scheduled yet. Be the first that next if we fell into line it would be the fifteenth for a selections right. meeting. Okay, why don't we set one for the fifteenth? No Tuesday. special town meeting special, or selections meeting. A special town meeting. Yeah. You have to realize that we wouldn't have one then. We'd have to have it like on the we can't have it on the eighth legally, I don't think. What's the eighth? Election night. 
No, we're really not. Well, we could probably meet another day. We could come in on well, a... Yeah, we're not supposed to meet. There shouldn't be any meetings like on election day. We could come in. Um, we could even do a morning meeting someday during that and week. So we're all on board for the 15th for a special yeah. town meeting? Yeah, I think so. Why don't we try it? 6.30 or 7. 6.30 anyway. All right, so I'll entertain a motion for November 15th, 6.30 p.m. I will make that motion. Special town meeting. Um, before we make before yeah before we make that motion, we have to have enough days because the special has to be um, posted 14 days ahead of time. Well, that doesn't matter. That's not where we're at. Just I'm talking for town council. They wanted at least two weeks. Yeah. So. Well, I'll the reason I was saying that also was because you know, like the advisory board, I know they'll want to get the. Um, it's not going to be a packed warrant, so I'm going to recommend in the motion for all articles to be submitted by noontime, October 28th, and that'll give us time for our next scheduled meeting on November 1st to open and close mm -hmm. it. Okay, that sounds good. October 28th, you want to do that? So the motion is to post or to set the special town meeting okay. for November 15th, 6.30 p.m. at the elementary school if available. So Karen, you'll have to look out yeah. for that. And for all articles to be submitted by the 28th noon. Do we have that motion? I'll make that motion. Do we have second. A second. Any further discussion? Nope. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Item number five, special use permits. I will entertain a motion to allow the American bass anglers use of Quaybog on September 25th from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. for 20 vehicles. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Nope. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, there is no other. I just go. Do you have another? I, yeah, I have another. another. Yeah. Uh, just FYI, uh, <clears throat> Nick talked last time of struggling to connect with uh, Mass Historical on two issues. One of the two issues, Bob Holtz has come back to us. He's the guy that would issue the determination as to the activities of the town hall, as to whether they would be minor or major activities. He's volunteering to either visit on the 22nd or the 29th to just see what we're up to. I, and to piggyback off of that, I spoke with the head carpentry instructor two weeks ago. He said he thought that they were a go with the other class. He's not a teacher of that other class. I unfortunately heard another rumor from a student saying that uh, the tech principal wasn't really happy about the project, so I'll have to reach out to Mr. Segan again okay. as opposed to Mr. Wood and see where they're at with that. Okay, so well, Look to schedule the time so that he'll come through the town hall and yeah, understand what we're And you're, you're on top of that? Yeah, I'm on top. Yep, they got that one. Okay. And then the second, uh, we're struggling on Mass Historical as to the campground and getting a dispensation as far as no dig. So uh, we'll, we're continuing to press that. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Correspondence, we have a very uh, nice letter from the town of Southbridge's town manager um, expressing a huge um, piece of gratitude for our fire department, Brookfield Fire Department, uh, and their assistance on Sunday, August 28th, not only for one fire, but two fires, mm -hmm. uh, both uh, six alarm fires. Um, luckily, nobody was injured from what I have heard. Uh, but his last paragraph, again, thank you to everybody, every person involved with this effort that were ready, willing, and able to assist the town of Southridge in a time of need. You should be very proud of your firefighters and the dedication and commitment to help everyone in need to protect the lives of the citizens. And I, I couldn't have said it any better. Yeah. My sincere gratitude goes out to our department as well. Um, Charter Communication is adding two channels, uh, both the same channels, one in HD and one regular. It's Ovation, channel 175, and High Def, channel 829. Any other items before the board this evening? Hearing none, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Great.